everyone. Welcome to my channel. I know it's been a very long time since I made a video. It's been a busy summer. Anyways, I thought I'd come and share with you guys um, a back to school clothing haul because my two oldest are finally both going back to school. Um, my daughter, she's going to second grade and um, when we moved here in February, um, they weren't doing in person and then like the week like I went to go register her, um, they decided to have all the kids be able to go back to school in person five days a week full time as long as they're wearing like masks. And um, so yeah, so we started her in in-person school since she was doing remote before that where we used to live. And now she's going into second grade at the same school and my son he's going into pre-K. I'm so sad. He has to leave me, so now I only have a one baby at home all day. But um, my pre k he'll only be going to school for like two and a half hours a day. So I won't be like without him for too long, but that'll give me some more free time to do other things with only one child instead of lugging three or two where I need to go. Anyway, so I went to Target, JCPenney's, Foot Action, and um, the PX, which is they have those on military bases. So I went here at Fort Bragg to see what they had, and they really didn't have much. So um, I'll just get that over with and show you the two things you bought from there because their clothes were ugly. Like, I don't know who does what they're buying, but they don't do very well <laughs> on, like, things that kids would want to wear, especially in the girls' section. It was horrible for, like, the bigger girls. And um, for toddlers... Taller boys, it was so tiny. It was like two rolls of clothes. But anyway, so for my daughter, I got her this cute little shirt. It's by Ponytails. Never heard of it. But $7.50. So I was like, I'll try it. I like the little tie at the bottom. And then it has the cute little uh, shoulders. And she's in a 10-12 for shirts. And pants, she wears an 8 or a medium or a 9. It just depends on the uh, brand. And then this was my husband's fine. Like, they had a little clearance rack with only two types of pants on it. And he found these cute little Levi's. They're like, um, they almost feel almost like a windbreaker material. And you know, like they're uh, stretchy at the ends. And they have drawstrings that work at the top. And yeah, they're Levi's joggers. And these are in a size 4, extra small. And um, yeah, it was crazy. All the other ones on the rack that were exactly like this, they were on clearance for $14.97. And they were originally $20. But for some reason, these were marked for $1.97. So I guess whoever was doing the markdowns when they must have forgot a four. I don't know. But our gain, their loss, under $2 for a pair of pants that he will definitely wear. So those are my only two things from the PX or the exchange, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> and then we hit up JCPenney's on the, actually the same day. I hadn't been in JCPenney's in years. Like it just was never like the place I wanted to go. And, um, where we last lived, that the JCPenney's actually closed. And that was one major reason why we didn't ever go. But I used to always shop at JCPenney's growing up. That was my back to school shopping. We'd go straight there to pick out all our clothes. And then we'd go to Bourbon's to get our shoes. <laughs> in which they don't have Bourbon's anymore either. But anyway, so, yeah, they had, they had some sales going on. And I wasn't really sure what to buy from there for them. But um, I had to pick out some of these. This was so cute. It's like a Henley shirt with dinosaurs all over it, made by Carter's. And it's in a 5T, so he really wears like a 4T comfortably, but 5T is a little big, so when it starts cooling off, he'll be able to wear this. Because right now it's still 90 degrees every day at the end of August. Because, <laughs> uh, we're oh yeah, we're in North Carolina. That's why. And then, I got him these. Obviously, he can wear these now for school when it starts. He 
starts after Labor Day, but my daughter starts um, August 23rd. Um, and yeah, this is by Levi's also. So it comes with a shirt and then these shorts. You know, they look like jeans, but they're not. And this was, it was not $32. I don't know what we paid for it, but definitely not $32. Maybe $20. And this is in a 4T. So he can wear it right now. And for that, I mean, if you look at how much this one was. Originally $24, but I don't know what we got it for. And then, he's got a few more shirts. Here's a shirt for winter time. It's in a 5T. And this is by Okie Dokie. It was like one of the brands we saw. A lot of clothes that were Okie Dokie brand. Never heard of it either. But uh, yeah, it's originally $16. And I know we did not pay no $16 for this. Maybe 10 or under. And then another shirt by Carter. This one was a 4T. Originally $20. You can wear that right now. And then I think this one's. This shirt was on clearance. It's a 5T by Okie Dokie again. And it was originally $16 and it was on sale for $7.19. So this is not bad either. And he can wear this all year since it's a 5T. I'll probably go out of all the 4T ones. So that's what we bought him from JCPenney's. And then my daughter, we only bought her shirts because I didn't find any pants I liked there that were like a good price. Like I prefer like target clothes, target pants over like anything else. But anyway, so here's the couple of shirts we bought her. I bought her three shirts. This is from thereabouts. And this is a size large 14. I was like wow why is there their larges are different. Usually a large is like a 10, 12 at other places, but theirs was a 14. So it looks kind of big. Hopefully it's not too big for her. She picked it out and I just noticed that it was a large. So I think I put it up to her and it didn't look too big. So hopefully it, it does fit right. I should have her try it on. If not, she'll keep it and she'll grow into it later. She has tons of shirts she can wear out of school. And um, this was originally $12. I think they were on sale for like $6. Because they're kind of like indices in the short sleeves. And it says, make magic happen. And then this shirt was on the same shelf. Our display. Same thing, large, size 14. Um, $12, which it wasn't. And this one says, only happy thoughts and good vibes. I like this color blue it is. And she picked this one too. And then, with like a different kind of shirt, it's like a little dressier shirt. Kind of plain, but you know, kind of see-through. I didn't really notice the little dots are kind of see-through. She might have to wear like a tank top under, which we already have. We have some tank tops for her to wear under her clothes if we need to. See, now this is a medium 10-12 and it was $20. So she should be fine with this one. Or that one right now. And maybe we'll just keep the other ones for later. She seems to be growing really fast. She just turned seven. And she already wears a larger, 10, 12. So that's it for JC Pennies. I think we uh we found a pretty good amount of clothes from there. And um, I plan on, as fall actually comes, probably like October or so, we'll buy them more winter clothes, like jackets and stuff. Like we only, they already have hoodies and stuff, so. Um, I already bought those. I bought some end of season ones. But for jackets, I'm going to wait because this is our first winter here. So I don't really know how cold it is, it'll get. Like, I don't know if she'll need, like, if they'll need, like, puffer jackets or if they just need a thicker, like, winter jacket that's not for, like, 30 degree weather. Because we came from the northeast where it's freezing in the winter time. You need big puffy jackets. Okay. I'm trying to speed this up. Okay. And then on to my favorite. What? No. We'll just stick with the same day. Um, so after we went to JCPenney's, we walked down to the mall to foot action. Because my husband wanted to get them some Nikes. Because Nikes are pretty reliable. But um, we knew we were going to get my son some Jordans. But my daughter, she said she didn't want Jordans. So we're like, okay, you don't have to get Jordans. You can just pick what you want. 
then she ended up getting Jordans anyway. Because <laughs> she picked them. She liked them. She didn't know they were Jordans. So for my son, we got him these Jordans. They're pretty cute. And then they just are Velcro at the top. So he doesn't have to tie them. He's four, so he won't have to tie shoes anyway. And they were, I think they were $55. $55, and he did not get, my husband didn't get his military discount because it wasn't working. So they would have been cheaper if you are in the military or retired, you get a discount. And then my daughter, oh yeah, his Jordans were Jordan 6 Retro Little Flex. That's what it says. I got his, I know this was a 9. And then my daughter's, hers are Jordan 3's Retro SEs. And these are for girl, girl ones. And uh, the hairs are stinking cute too. They have like the highlighter orange in the middle on my lip. And then they're purple in the inside. And then they got this cool print on the outside. I don't know what kind of print that is. But that's what she picked out. And then they come with purple laces. So I'm going to switch out the laces too for her. Because she really wants the purple laces. So that's it for um, what I got from Balloons in the Mall. But I guess I'm going to have to make a part two because I didn't get to my last store that we went to. Which was Target, my favorite. And um, a lot of the Target stuff I actually... Oh, she's so tired. I actually, I just ordered it from online instead of going to the store. Because Target is like 30 minutes from here. Not a quick trip. It used to be five minutes down the road for me, so it's kind of hard making our way there. So stay tuned for that second part two of a back to school haul from the from my, from my kids. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.